Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick overview of pharmacy management system which is developed using the JFrame and for the database we have used the MySQL. In this project, we have two modules. One is admin module and another is pharmacist module. So, admin module can actually manage all the users like another admin, another pharmacist like this and the pharmacist can manage all the medicines. So, let's quickly start with the admin module first. So we already have one admin module that is one admin login inserted into our database for that the username is admin and the password is also admin. So let me just type it and just click on login and when the password is wrong it will throw a message like this incorrect username and password. So I must have written something wrong over here. So I'm going to type it admin this time and click on login. So here we move to the dashboard. In the dashboard we have multiple options. First one is to add a user. So let's click on that one. So when I click on this, we will get a pop up like this. That will be the add user. So here for the user, we have two roles. That is one is admin and another one is pharmacist as you can see this. So we already have one admin and let me just add a pharmacist so that we can log in with that user. So click on pharmacist. Here I'm going to name this one uh, Sam and I'm going to select one DOB from my something like this and I'm going to select this one and mobile number will be something like this for the random I'm going to type it and just click on save and here you can see this we got the message message number field is invalid it means that we have to type numbers over here so let me just type one 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 five times one and four times two and here you can see this but we got 10 numbers as a valid phone number so if I click on save again we get this mobile number field is invalid because this is not a valid number because it's just a nine digit so what I will do is I will type two ones again so we have five ones and five two so now it become ten numbers right so if I click on this one then now you can see this mobile number field invalid message is gone now we got the validation message for the email right so i'm going to type sam at the rate email.com so if i click on save and here you can see this username field is required it means that this one is validation is done if i delete this and if i type click on save then you can see email field is invalid it means that we have to type like this one next thing at this time we also have validation that username must be unique so if I type admin and you can see this we already have the admin so that's why this is the pop-up is over here and if I delete yen from the last then this is a valid right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Sam and Sam is also valid and the password for this one is also Sam and the address is India like this and save it here you can see this user added successfully if I click on OK and here all the data is gone whatever we have written into this one and the field is reset right so now you can add another admin or another user with the role admin or pharmacist next thing what we have is let me just close this and here we have option to view user if I click three users one is admin and another one is Gaurav and the Sam which we have added right now so next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to delete this admin which with which we are actually logged in so if I click on this and here you can see this you cannot delete your own account okay so this is a restriction that you cannot delete your own login account another admin can delete another admin and admin can delete any pharmacist user so if I click on this Gaurav I'm going to delete this one so click on yes and successfully deleted if I click on ok now new the data from the database is loaded right so Gaurav is gone so let me just close this next thing we have the profile section if I click on this one and here we have this admin the name mobile number and admin at the rate email.com if I try to change something like this from 1 to 2 and if I click on update profile updated successfully if I close this and again visit to this profile here we have this too right so I'm going to change this name from admin to admin and again admin click on OK and again we can go to the profile and here you can see this now this admin is updated next thing what we have is if I go to this update user stuff so if I click on this and here we have to find the user by the username 
So we have this Sam, right? So I'm going to type something like this, Sam, yes. So if I try to search it, here you can see this username doesn't exist because Sam S doesn't exist in our database. If I try to find this Sam and search it over here and here you can see this user role is pharmacist. You can also update the roles from here. So next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name from Sam to Sam again and the email ID will be this. Now I'm going to just change this number to three. Okay. And if I click on update, here you can see this user updated successfully. Click on OK. And if I again try to search for Sam, you cannot update the username for sure. So if I click on see, click on search, then you can see the name is Sam and Sam and the number is also updated. You can update the other properties like address and the email as well. So let me close this. Now all the tasks in this admin module is done. Next thing, let me just log out and we have the exit functionality. So let me just click on this log out and it will ask for your confirmation. Do you really want to log out? If you click on no, you will remain on this page. And if you click on yes, you will move back to the login page. And here, as you know that we have created one user with the name pharmacist with the role pharmacist and the username is Sam and the password is also Sam, right? So if I click on login, we will move to the dashboard where we can actually perform the multiple operation regarding the medicines, right? So here we have one button to add medicine, sell medicine, view medicine, view medicines, uh, view bill, update medicine, profile and exit and logout button. So if I click on the profile first and here you can see this, we have updated the name from Sam to Sam. So let me just change this, just delete the last Sam and also change this one to two and click on update. And here you can see this again, my profile is updated. So you can see this now we are back on the original stuff, which we have initially typed. Okay. So let me close this and let me move back to this one that is add medicine. So if I click on this one and here we have to put some ID for the medicine. So I'm going to type one, one, one and two, 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 something like this. And the medicine name will be test mad two, or we can type med two, right? And I'm going to name this one test the company name, and I'm going to add the quantity that is 55 and each unit price will be 65 rupees. So you click on save and here you can see this medicine added successfully. If I move back into this one, let me just close this. Now we have added one medicine and if I click on this view medicine and here you can see this, we have two medicine, which one, which I have previously added with the test med and another one is test med two. And here you can see these details. You can also delete the medicines from here. So if I click on this one, we, it will ask who you want to delete this. We now move back to this one that is update medicine. If I click on this one and if I search for 111 and 222, that is a mad ID, medicine ID. If I search for it and here you can see this test med 2 and the company name is test and we have the quantity 55, right? And the price per unit is 65. I want to update this price to something like 78 and also want to update some quantity into this one. So I'm going to add two quantity, new quantity into this one. For now we have 55 after adding, it will be 57, right? So if I click on update, here you can see this medicine updated successfully. If I click on okay and the form is reloaded. Now I try to search for 111 and 222. So if I search it and here you can see this, now the quantity is 57 and the price is also updated. So this is how we can search and update the medicines, right? So let me just close this. And next thing what we have is we have cell medicines. Before moving to the cell medicine, let me just click on this one and let me just delete this mad. Okay. And click on yes to delete this. And here you can see the medicine deleted successfully. Click on okay. And here you can see this. Now we have only one medicine. So let me just quickly add one more mad into this one so that we can demonstrate uh, with multiple medicines add cell medicine stuff. So this time I'm going to put this 222 and 333 and I'm going to name this one test med 3. Company name is test quantity 66 and the price is something like this and save it. Let me just close this. Go to view medicine and here you can see this we have 222 and 333. Okay, let me just close this and go to the cell medicine part. If I click on this one, we will get a pop up like this. Here we can search med test med three and we will filter the data 
according to the search results, right? Right, whatever we type into this, this field. So let me just delete this and let me just select this test med two. If I select this here, you can see this, that medicine selected and all the data corresponding to it is added into this one. We cannot modify the data into this one. So I'm going to just uh, add a product like this one, add to cart. And if I try to, here you can observe that I have added a random number, which is larger than the whatever is in my stock. Let me just close this. So this is test med two. Let me just close this. And if I go over here, test med two, the quantity available is 57, but I was trying to actually purchase a lot of product, right? I was trying to purchase something like this. And if I try to add to cart and here you can see this medicine is out of stock only 57 left. So we can purchase 57 or less than that. So I'm going to purchase two. And if I click on add to cart, that medicine is added to cart, added successfully. If I click on this, I want to remove it. Yes, I can remove it too. So let me just add this one once again. So I'm going to purchase this one too. And here you can see this at the same time, total price is being updated as per over here. So if I click on this one and this one, and here you can see this. Now we have two medicine over here. This is the total price for each medicine and the grand total is over here. That is 1354. So in this way, you can actually add the medicines, right? So next thing we have one button that is purchase and print. So if I click on this one, now the bill is generated and here you can see this, this is a bill ID and this is on the date which it's generated in the IST it's and the total amount is this and whatever you have purchased it's uh, over here and whatever the message like thank you please visit again you can change it as per your choice and where it have it has been stored it's in the e folder and the bill is like this okay so let me close this and let me close this one too next thing we have this view bill button so if i click on this one and here you can see this we have two bills one is for gaurav and another is for sam so previously I have generated this one, but for right now I have generated this one. So if I want to view the complete bill corresponding to this one, so you, you have to just simply click on this row and it will open that same PDF from there, right? So here you can see the bill easily. In this way you can sort out and filter the results. Let me just close this and let me close this. Another stuff which we have is the logout and exit button. So if I log out, we will move back to the login page. And if I again log in, and again try to exit the application it will again ask for me the confirmation do you really want to close the application if i click on no nothing will happen and if i click on yes this will exit the application so that's it for this video guys from the next video onwards i'm going to start the development from the scratch how to create the project and step by step we will do the development so just stay tuned subscribe hit like and share with your friends